All right, welcome. Hi everyone, I'm Helen. This is a 45 minute all levels vinyasa class. And today we will be focusing on finding little moments of concentration, focus, our attention, our balance, and creating longer moments of meditation through that prolonged concentration. We will start in a standing position. So as you're ready, you can find your way to a comfortable standing position at the top of your space. Your feet can be about hip distance apart or together, together, whatever feels the most natural and comfortable for you. Close your eyes and take a little moment to rock forward and back, side to side. Shift your weight between your heels, your toes, between both feet. And then allow for some stillness, balanced between your feet, between your toes and your heels. Imagine energy drawing up from the earth, through your legs, all the way up to the crown of your head. Notice what you're thinking about, where your mind is. And start to notice and deepen your breath. If it's comfortable for you, turn on ujjayi breath in and out through your nose. A slight constriction at the back of your throat. And see if you can lengthen each inhale to four counts in and each exhale to four counts out. If that feels too long, feel free to shorten it. If you'd like to go even longer, please feel free to do so. And then set any kind of personal intention you'd like for this practice for your day. We'll stay here a few more breaths. Our yoga practice is so much more than just the physical, these asana shapes that we make. And the sixth and seventh limbs or pieces of yoga are concentration and meditation. And we'll play with those today. Eyes can stay closed or gently blink them open. As you next inhale, reach your arms to the sky, stand a little taller. Exhale, forward fold, flat back. Feel free to bend your knees. Stay strong through your core. Let your head and neck relax. Lift halfway, breathe in, long spine. And exhale, simply fold, relax everything back down. Back to standing, inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. And we'll take that same thing two more times, a half sun salute A, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. See if you can stay focused on your breath, on the movements. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold, release. Rise to standing, inhale, hand sweep up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Once more, breathe in, reach to the sky. Breathe out, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Back to standing, root to rise, sweep your arms high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Reach to the sky, breathe in. Fold as you breathe out. Find your halfway lift, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold and make your way into a ragdoll. That might mean taking your feet a little bit wider, bending your knees so your belly comes to your thighs. You can grab opposite elbows, bring your hands to the back of your head and feel free to add a little bit of freestyle movement. Releasing any tension, really letting gravity do the work here. It's easy to get distracted by our thoughts. So a great way to stay present, stay focused is by tuning into your breath. One more round of breath as you are. 
Release your hands down if they're lifted. If you can stay wider, come a little closer together. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands as far as you can to your right. Feel free to bend one or both knees. Let your hips lean a little bit left. Breathe into any sensation as if you could send breath in that direction. And then pass through center and take that to the other side. Hands left, hips right. Come back to center. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down. Step back to a high plank upper push up. The knees can always come down. Otherwise, really strong through your legs. Press back through your heels. Engage your low belly, slight scoop under. Press into your hands and slide your shoulders down your back out of your ears. Notice here what you're feeling. Be in tune with your present experience. Where there's sensation, where your mind goes, maybe when you're holding in stillness or when things are a little challenging. Find one more breath in, a little shift forward, and as you exhale, lower slowly to your belly. Hug your elbows by your sides. Baby Cobra hands stay by your sides, elbows point back and in. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up through a tabletop. And exhale to a child's pose, hips to heels. Forehead melts down to your mat. Hands can stay stretched out in front or they can come anywhere else that feels good. Couple rounds of breath here just to feel what's happening in this moment. Practice that presence, that attention on your current experience, no matter what it is, without judgment, without attachment. Next inhale, tabletop hands and knees. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. We're gonna take cow and cat with our feet as well. So as you inhale for cow, tuck your toes under, lift your tailbone, drop your belly, send your heart forward. As you exhale for cat, come onto the tops of your feet, press into them, round through your spine. And then continue to flow like that. Inhale, tuck your toes, lift your tailbone, drop your belly, heart forward. Exhale, press into the tops of your feet, round through your spine, puff up between your shoulder blades. Three more rounds with your breath, find your rhythm. Let this be a moving meditation, in and out, back and forth. One more round. Come back toward your neutral spine. Walk your hands a little bit forward. Find your downward facing dog, hips to the sky, a nice upside down V shape. Imagine your chest pressing to your thighs, your spine really long. Remember that knees can absolutely stay bent in this shape and any shape. And then take your feet out wide. If you're on a mat, as wide as your mat, if not a little bit wider than hip and shoulder distance. And maybe hands come a little closer to your feet. We'll add a twist here, right hands toward your left ankle or anywhere in your left leg you can reach, whether or not you touch, doesn't matter. Notice how this feels, where you feel sensation and what you associate with this. Release and switch sides, left hands to right leg. And release. Feet can stay wide, inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to a ragdoll position. Let your head and your neck relax. Back to hands to opposite elbows or hands to the back of your neck. A little bit of movement. Release your hands down, heel toe your feet in toward each other. We'll roll to standing tailbone heavy. Crown of your head is the very last thing to come up. So imagine stacking your spine. Roll your shoulders up, back and down, release any tension. And then find some stillness. Maybe you readjust on your mat, readjust your clothing. 
close your eyes. Notice your breath once more. Come back to your intention and refocus your attention. Blink your eyes open. Inhale to chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit nice and low, peek down, make sure you can see all 10 toes. Engage your low belly, relax your shoulders. We're gonna take a little flow here to drinking bird. So as you inhale, sit lower in your chair. As you exhale, sweep your hands back, maybe lift your heels, find a balance. Your drishti or steady gaze will help. Inhale, heels down, hands high. Exhale, drinking bird, sweep it back, lift, balance. Once more, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale to chair, forward fold, exhale. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, step your right foot back. And then turn to the long side of your mats and rise to standing into a star pose. So toes slightly out, heels slightly in, arms reach wide. We're gonna take a little flow here to a side lunge, kind of like a skandasana or surfer squat. Doesn't have to be your lowest. So inhale here through center. As you exhale, right knee bends, hand sweep back, bottom reaches back. Back through center, breathe in. To the other side, exhale, and left knee bends, hands back, chest forward. Move with your breath, inhale, center. Exhale to your right. Feel free to do something different with your arms if you like, inhale. Try not to overthink it, just be in the flow. One more time in each direction. Inhale to star, exhale warrior two. Turn your left toes to the short edge of your mat, bend your left knee, adjust your feet, front heel in line with back heel, reach long through your fingers and just breathe into stillness. Notice where your external gaze is, your drishti. And notice where your internal in attention is, that focus, awareness. Reverse warrior, stretch it up and back, breathe in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, frame your front foot, three-legged dog, left leg floats up and back. Open up your hip, bend your knee, allow any movement that feels natural, intuitive, some circles, bend, straighten. If you're ready and wanna flip for a wild thing, please feel free to go there. And in your way, your time will meet in downward facing dog. You can simply replace your foot. You can take a vinyasa flow, a high plank upper push up to your chaturanga, up dog or cobra, back to downward facing dog as you exhale. And then a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, make some noise, let something go. Once more, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look to your hands. Step, hop, find your way to the top of your mat. Lift halfway, inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold, relax it all down. Rise up, reach up, hands to the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart or hands by your side. And take a moment here to close your eyes, reset however you need. Each breath is a chance to start new, start fresh. And in meditation, when things come up, rather than sticking to them or worrying about them, see if you look, can let the next moment come in its time and in its way. Blink your eyes open, inhale back to chair pose. Use your exhale to settle. We're gonna take that same flow other side, inhale here. Exhale, drinking bird, hands back, lift your heels. Inhale, heels down, hands up. Exhale, drinking bird. Find a little flight. Once more, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale to your chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, this time left foot steps back. 
Turn to the side of your mat and rise to star pose. It's just a transition to get us there. It doesn't have to be fancy. Take a breath in. Exhale, bend your left knee, send your hips back, your arms back, your chest forward. So make sure knees and toes are in the same direction. We're gonna flow, inhale through center. Exhale, right knee bends. You choose how low you go. Back up, breathe in. To your left, breathe out. Inhale to center. Exhale to your right. Once more, each direction, find your flow. Inhale, star. Warrior two as you exhale. Turn both of your feet, back foot parallel to the back edge of your mat or slightly turn forward, front toes toward the short edge, front edge of your mat. Allow for the stillness, the silence. I'll stop talking. Notice what you notice. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, frame your front foot. Take it to three-legged dog, right leg floats up and back. And then open up your hip, bend your knee. Allow movement, stillness. You choose how and when you return to downward facing dog. I'm gonna take a flow if you'd like to join me. Inhale, high plank, upper push up. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway or to your belly. Up dog or cobra. Lift your thighs if you're an up dog, inhale. Exhale to downward facing dog. And this time, big breath in through your nose. Flutter your lips, let it out like a horse. Again, breathe in. Flutter it out. Take your feet out wide once more, outside edges of your mat. Feet can always come closer to hands or hands closer to feet. Same thing you did before, right hands to your left ankle or wherever you can reach on your left leg or in that direction. Option to stay or begin to shift your weight left and play with folding your right foot. And for me, it's helpful to look down to my mat. This is where your gaze is, where your focus is, where that concentration needs to go to maybe work the balance, maybe not. As you're ready, switch sides. Right hand down, left hand to your right leg. Stay in the twist, hang out. Or start to shift your gaze, shift your weight, and play with floating your foot. I should say the foot you're not holding on to, so your left leg to this guy. Release your hand, release your foot if you have an inhale. Bend your knees, look forward. Step hopper floats to your rag doll. Top of your mat, feet pretty wide. A little sway, a little movement. Release your hands down, heel toe your feet in toward each other. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold, let it go. Rise to standing, arms sweep high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. And as we've been doing a little moment here to close your eyes, reset. Adjust your clothing, your breath, your stance, grab some water. Come back to that inward attention, inward focus. Concentration on this moment, on your experience right here, right now. When you're ready, blink your eyes open, inhale back to chair. The same will take it to eagle, right arm wraps underneath your left. You can hold opposite shoulders if your shoulders feel better like that, or back of your hands or palms can connect in front of you. Right thigh up and over your, le your left. Toes can tap down or wrap behind your left calf. And notice if your knees wanna go way left, see if you can bring them back to center by drawing your right hip back. You can always keep chair legs if this doesn't work, and just do the arms. Try to sit a little deeper Lift your elbows away from your chest. Breathe where you feel this. One more round here. 
Inhale, unwind to one-legged Tadasana, arms to the sky, right knee high. Steady your gaze, breathe out. Take another inhale as you are. Exhale, open arm twist, right, right hand back, left arm forward. And for me, it's easier to keep my gaze in one spot. If you can challenge, or if you wanna challenge your balance, you can start to turn your gaze toward your back hand. Next, inhale back to center, arms to the sky, unwind one like a Tadasana. Exhale to standing splits, dive it forward with your hands, your chest, lift your leg to the sky. You can stay, you can play with balance here, hands to your ankle, your calf. You can play with handstand hops, plant your palms, focus your gaze between your hands, little lifts with your right leg. We'll take two more rounds of breath. Big step back with your right foot. Turn to your right to the long edge of your mat. This time feet parallel or slightly pigeon-toed, lift halfway, breathe in. And exhale, fold. Another halfway lift. As you exhale, right fingertips or palm below your face, left arm to the sky. So option to stay just like this, or if you want a little bit more, you can bring your right hand to your left leg and maybe start to bend into your right knee to find a little bit more sensation. Slowly unwind, both hands down. Lift halfway, breathe in. Left hand below your face, right arm to the sky. Stay, or left hand to your right ankle. Perhaps bend into your left knee. Unwind, both hands down. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, turn back toward the top of your mat. Find a lizard pose. Left foot shimmies out to the side. Palms come inside your left foot. You can keep this more active. Back leg lifted. I like to rock a little bit forward and back. You can drop your back knee. Add a twist if you like. There are many variations, so I'll allow you that freedom of choice. Try to stay present with whatever's happening, with whatever you've decided to do. Three rounds of breath. If you'd like some more time, of course, please feel free to stay. Otherwise, palms flat, lift your back knee. Shimmy your left foot between your hands. Three-legged dog, left leg up and back, breathe in. Open up your hip, bend your knee. Stay or flip for a wild thing, left foot behind you. Left arm reaches forward, lift your hips. You can take big arm circles, both directions. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. As always, you decide the transition. Simple, step it back. Your vinyasa flow, chaturanga, up dog or cobra to downward facing dog, or maybe a child's pose. And we'll take five full rounds of breath here. Slow down, tune inward, and allow yourself to just be here in this moment in your practice. Back to downward facing dog, take your time. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step, hop, travel to your hands, top of your space. Lift halfway, try to slide your shoulders down your back, really reach your heart and crown of your head forward. Exhale, fold. Stand up, hands to the sky, upward salute, breathe in. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. A moment to reset, adjust your stance. Inhale to chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale to eagle on your left, left arm below. Find opposite shoulders, back of your hands or palms together, left thigh up and over. Notice what you can adjust, not just physically to feel the shape differently, but mentally to really be here, to either challenge yourself if that's what you need today, 
or to give yourself a break, practice kindness and compassion. Two more rounds of breath. As you next inhale, one-legged Tadasana, arms to the sky, left knee high like you're taking a step. Stay for your exhale. Another breath in. Open arm twist to your left, left hand back, right arm forward. Gaze can stay where it was, hold that steady focus, or begin to challenge it by turning your head to look toward your back hand or to the left side of your space. Inhale back to center, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, standing splits, hands down, leg high. You've got the option to stay, to simply feel, to play with balance, hands to your ankle, your calf, to play with some handstand hops or anything else that you like from here. Two more rounds of breath. Step your left foot to the back of your mat. Turn to the long edge of your mat, turn to the left. Parallel your feet, lift halfway, breathe in, and exhale, fold. And this time I'll give you the option to move or to stay in stillness. Do whatever feels intuitive and natural without overthinking. So practicing that presence, concentration on the moment, without delving into the shoulds, or the pressure of whatever you feel like you maybe could be doing, simply enjoying the moment. I could be back to that twist we did before, simply holding like I am, moving upside down into a headstand if that feels safe for you. And let's do two more rounds of breath. As that feels complete, turn back toward the top of your space. Frame your right foot and then set up for lizard. Shimmy your right foot out to the side. Hands inside your foot. On your palms, on your forearms, with your knee lifted, a little bit of movement, your knee down, a twist for a quad stretch. Doesn't have to be fancy. I know in my personal practice, simple is really what I need. Simple is really what feels the best. So I like doing all the stuff. I usually try to remind myself to simply be and experience each shape in the simplest form. Let's take two more breaths here. Onto your hands if you're on your forearms. Lift your back knee if it's lowered. Reset your foot between your hands. Up and back to three-legged dog. Breathe in. Take what you need. Movement, stillness, a flip for wild thing if you played on the other side or want to play here. Right foot behind you, right arm forward. Maybe big circles. And we will meet in downward facing dog. One of our last ones of this practice. I never promise in case I change my mind. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step, hop, make your way to your hands. Forward folds. Lift halfway, breathe in. Folds, breathe out. Stand tall, reach high, inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale to your chair pose, Utkatasana. Little theme here today, exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath in, find length. As you exhale, we'll take a twist. Left elbow outside your right knee. If that doesn't feel great for you, you're welcome to do an open arm, more upright twist. Otherwise, check out your knees, make sure that they're not peeking out in front of one another. Imagine turning your heart to your thumbs, even if they're nowhere close. Shoulders down your back. Bring your focus, your attention to your spine. Feel its length. 
and then a gentle ringing out sensation. Keep breathing. One more inhale. Exhale, fold, let it go. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold, heel toe your feet so they're at least hip distance apart. Wrap your first two fingers around your big toes. Lengthen your spine, inhale, and then gently fold yourself deeper. Elbows can go wide or back. Let your head and neck be heavy. Knees can absolutely bend, so don't force the hamstring stretch. Just give this a nice release. Let gravity do the work to reset your spine. Release your grip, bring your feet back in toward each other. Right away into chair, sit low, hands high. Exhale, hands to your heart. Breathe in as you are. This time twist to your left, hook your right elbow outside your left knee. And again, that open arm version or a different version of a twist or something else is fantastic. Heart to thumbs if you're taking this version. Make sure knees are in line, that'll keep your hips in line. Feel the energy where it's flowing through your body, your awareness, your attention, your focus there, and concentrate on that sensation. One more inhale. Exhale, fold, relax, sit down. Lift halfway, breathe in. Release, exhale. Feet again about hip distance apart. And this time, let's take gorilla pose. Hands slide, palms facing up underneath your feet. So that might mean you bend your knees so much your belly comes to your thighs like mine. Toes to your wrist creases, give your hands a little massage. And slowly release. Can I come back to that big toe pose, holding on to your big toes with your peace fingers, your thumbs close the loop. And I use my hands, stay, keep, keep my hands, I should say, around my toes. For this, you're welcome to release one hand. We're gonna shift your weight to your left. Use your thumb as a little kickstand or release your left hand. Steady your gaze, your drishti about a foot, maybe a foot and a half in front of your left foot. And just play with getting light on your right foot. It may not come off the ground. It may barely hover. You may be able to lift it pretty high. I feel this a lot in outer hips. Maybe you do too. Release if it's cramping. And then second side, weight into your right foot, shift your gaze. You can always release your right hand. Float your left foot. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One side's always easier for me. And then release. Left hand to your left hip. Keep your right hand on your big toe or bring it back. If you lost it, bend your knees. Arm inside your knee. Come to standing. And I might wobble and fall out of this. Totally cool if you do too. You can always switch your grip to your knee. Option to stay. If your hamstrings feel warm enough, you've got the space, you're welcome to extend. Find a sense of lift through your spine. Notice if you're leaning back. Can you bring your weight even between your heels and your toes like we did when we started? And then hang out here or take it into a twist. Hand to the outside edge of your knee or outside edge of your foot. I should say left hand, right hand reaches behind you. Gaze can be forward or steady or you can slowly start to turn it toward your back hand. Keep breathing. If you twisted back to center, hands to your heart, hover your leg. Exhale, release your foot down, shake it all out. Let go of whatever happened, didn't happen, get silly, get weird. Big breath in, arms to the sky. Dive forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, folds right away to the second side. Left first two fingers around your left big toe, right hand to your hip. Bend your knees. Remember, you can always release the grip of your foot. Come to standing arm inside your knee. Find your balance first. So steady your eyes, your focus, your attention. Feel the energy. A nice lift through your chest. Hang out here. Maybe extend or maybe shift hand to knee. And let the sides be different. Doesn't have to be mirror copies, replicas. You can stay or take it to a twist. Right hand to the outside edge of your foot or outside edge of your knee. Left hand reaches to the back of your space. 
steady gaze, or for a challenge, begin to turn your head to look left. Stand a little taller through the crown of your head, breathe a little louder. If you twisted back to center, hands to your heart, hover your leg, breathe in. Exhale, release your foot, shake it all out. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, lift your heels, drop your bottom, come into a little ball, curl and round, forehead to knees. Imagine breath moving between your shoulder blades into your middle back and down into your lower back. You can stay just like this or play with bringing your legs parallel to the ground. Squeeze your inner thighs and lift your heart, hands to your chest, tall spine, shoulders stacked above your hips. Big breaths. And then release. Option to take a hero's pose. So to sit either on your heels, bottom down, knees bent, or if you've got this space, you can sit between your feet. I kind of move my calf muscles out of the way. If you've got knee stuff, this may be a no-go. Stay in a tabletop, come into a downward facing dog, child's pose. We're just gonna take a moment in a little mini meditation before we find our last few shapes. Eyes closed or open. Notice your experience right now. What's happening inside? What's happening outside? And what's your breath like? Find your tabletop position. We'll take this to puppy pose. I'm gonna scoot a little bit back. Walk your hands forward, drop your forehead, your chin, or your chest toward the ground like an extended child's pose. Begin to walk your hands back in. Downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale to pigeon, right shin forward. If you have knee stuff, come to your back for figure four, or you can take any other hip stretch or any other stretch that feels good. A moment to sit up a little taller, and then gently walk yourself as far forward as you like, unless you prefer to stay upright. And pigeon is one of those shapes that my mind likes to wander in. Maybe yours is the same. Rather than getting frustrated by that, allow the thoughts to come and go, notice them, or actively bring your attention back, your concentration on something that's happening in this moment physically, something you hear or see. Something you feel. Two more breaths. Stay longer if you'd like more, otherwise walk your hands in. If you're on your back, you can come up to a seat. Wait into your right hand and your right hips. You might have to lean a little bit. Swing your left leg around and place your left foot outside your right thigh, knee to the sky. I prefer to extend my bottom leg, you might too. Ground down through your sit bones, sit up tall, breathe in. Exhale, twist left, left hand behind you. Right arm hugs your knee or elbow hooks outside. Tall spine, breathe in. Ring it out as you breathe out. Gently unwind, counter twist in the opposite direction, either upright or a little bow forward. And then we'll take it right back to downward facing dog. Swing your left leg behind you, hands forward. Lift your hips to the sky. Second side, left leg high, inhale. Draw your shin forward, set up your pigeon or whatever shape you've chosen instead of this. 
lengthen, breathe, and then allow for depth. And it doesn't necessarily mean the physical depth, but the depth of your experience. To be even more present, even more aware, even more focused and concentrated. So this becomes a little mini meditation in and of itself. One more breath here. Walk your hands in to lift your chest. This time weight to your left hand, left hip. If you're on your back, come up to your seat. Swing your right leg around. Place your foot outside your left thigh. Either keep both legs bent or extend your bottom leg. Right hand behind you, left arm up, breathe in. Take your twist as you exhale. With each breath, more length, more energy flowing through your spinal column, your main energy channel. With each breath out, a little release, a twisting, a softening. Unwind, find a counter stretch to the other side, upright or a bow. and then extend both legs out in front. We'll come to our backs, however you'd like to get their arms in front, roll yourself down. Hands by your sides, walk your feet in, set up for a bridge pose. Feet below your knees or ankles below your knees as best you can. That might mean that you touch your heels, but not everyone's proportions are the same, so don't necessarily use that as a judge if it doesn't work. Press through your feet, engage your glutes, scoop your tailbone under, and then lift your hips up. Breathe into the front side of your body. Quadriceps, hips, belly, chest. Hands can stay flat, interlace, shimmy your shoulders a little closer together if you like. Keep drawing your knees forward. Keep lengthening and breathing. One more inhale if you're still here. Release your grip if you've got it. Exhale, roll yourself down. And then take whatever you like before final rest Shavasana. A happy baby, some little wiggles or movements. You can be on your back, more traditional Shavasana position. You can come to a seat as I am to finish out in a more seated meditation. As you find your shape of rest, slide your shoulders down your back. Soften your jaw, your face, your eyes. And really give yourself permission to be present, to feel everything that's happening right here, right now. If you'd like to stay here a bit longer, please stay. If you're ready to move on, add some little movements, fingers, toes, roll your head side to side. Eventually larger movements, maybe a full body stretch. And come up to a seat if you're not quite there yet. As you arrive in your seat, a moment to pause, palms together in front of your heart. Do one last check-in, body, mind, and spirit. Notice how you're feeling now. 
and maybe return to your personal intention if you set one or simply to the awareness of where you are, how you are in this moment. We'll close this practice together with a silent bow, honoring each other, the fact that we've shared this space this time together, and giving a little thank you. Have a lovely rest of the day. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I will see you soon.